Hi guys and welcome to this week's My Halifax. My name is Adam Cooper and for this week we've come down to Mount St. Vincent University. Terry Roberts invited us down. She's the CEO of the Nova Scotia Fitness Association. They're holding a leadership summit here, which is basically a lot of um, fitness instructors come from across Nova Scotia to get um, continued education credits, learn about how to do different techniques and different classes and lots of different cool seminars to help them be better instructors, which makes them better for us to enjoy them within our own communities. I spoke to some fitness um, instructors who are part taking part in the classes and they described it as like a big celebration because they get to come together support each other and we like a big celebration so let's check it out I'm Terry Roberts, I'm the chair of the Nova Scotia Fitness Association and I'm also a course conductor and a fitness instructor and that's my job, that's what I do, that's what I love. And today we're here to do professional development, so all the personal trainers, the aerobics instructors, some of the yoga instructors, spin instructors are all here today to learn what's the newest thing in the industry. And we also have a special training going on, first of its kind anywhere in the world that we know of, uh, with Alice House and those uh, participants are learning how to recognize signs of domestic violence with their fitness clients so that they can be more of a help with that need in the community. Events like this are great for the instructors too because not only do they get educated but they get to meet fellow instructors and they have that kind of unity of being like in the fields working and they can swap techniques and just sort of kind of build bonds and friendship and help support each other because you know often when you are in a leadership role you know sometimes it feels like you're very much on your own so when you come to an event like this you can mix with the people share ideas and brainstorm and it's stuff like this that helps keep moving keeps industries moving forward like the fitness industry and you know it's always good to see you know support for fellow workers and fellow people that are going to be out servicing people and performing. The other thing that I have learned is that, and one of the instructors earlier was talking about the warm up, and she was saying that when you select your track, you have so many beats a minute. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize that, that, that deliberately. I just thought all fitness instructors listened to really high tempo music because they were just pumped the whole time. The nice thing about being at this event is having spoke to some of the instructors, some of the members, just how much love and respect they have for Terry and what she's been able to do for the organization. Like, this is a non-profit, so they do a lot of fundraising, they do a lot of education, and it's all to make the community better and also to make sure that people understand that what they're doing is, you know, looking after people's health and body and they've got to kind of respect that and make sure they put the client first. And it's really refreshing to see that um, purely and simply because, you know, a lot of times people focus so much on money, but you've got a non-profit here and all they're trying to do is be a better profession and make sure that the consumer, like people like you and me, get the best service and we're looked after. And I think that's really important. And, and Terry's won several awards for her volunteer work and it's, you know, it's nice to see a leader in a community give so much back to her community. Another thing I want to touch on, kind of like what Terry was saying, is the um, class that's been run by in association with Alice House. It is all about helping the instructors be able to spot when there's been signs of domestic abuse. And when you think about it, like your personal trainer and your fitness coach, you usually see people regularly on a daily basis. And to be able to spot someone that's in need is a really important skill. We're going to link information below how you can contact the instructor for that class if you think it'd be something useful for your industry or for you personally and it's just really cool to see that you know here again is an organization that's going above and beyond to protect people and keep them safe and i believe it's the first it's kind of course like it's um, in canada and it's probably maybe one of the first courses in the world that's been associated with fitness directly and i think that's really powerful so that is the end of this week's My Halifax. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna link the information below so you can contact the Nova Scotia Fitness Association if you're looking to become a trainer or if you want more information or just wanna to talk to some really knowledgeable people. So thank you for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you next week. Events like this are really good for the actual in instructors themselves because you get to kind of talk to other people, network, and kind of share ideas and switch back. That door was loud. Okay. Yeah. 
So thank you for making it all the way to the end of our video. Make sure you hit the big round subscribe button so you never miss one of our videos. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media link below. And we got a couple of videos here we thought you might like.